let us have our part two. As long as you know the detail, details for part one, it will be easy for you if you answer part two. Because of all groups, they are just almost, almost the same. When it comes to solving. Let us, let us have the integral of tan to the p one third x dx. So we have this new set of groups. We have the integral of tan raised to n, secant raised to n u du, tan raised to n u du, and secant raised to n u du. So we have n is i, uh, factor of secant u tangent u du, and is even and greater than 2. This is greater than 2. Uh, factor out secant squared u. If m is even tangent, tangent uh, our integral is tangent at the same time like even degree, factor out tan squared theta and that will be equal to second squared theta minus 1. So let us have the integral of tan to the big 1 third x dx. Um, tan raised to m, m is odd. Therefore, factor out secant u tangent u du. We will think of quantity wherein when we multiply second u tangent u, the result is tan to the fifth one third x dx. Therefore, this is same as sine secant raised to negative one u tan to the fourth u d. Second u tan u tan secant raised to negative one u tan to the fourth u du is equal to second u times uh, second raised to negative one u is equal to zero and tan u times tan to the fourth u du is equal to tan to the fifth. Therefore, the new given will be the new given will be the integral of secant uh, raised to negative one u which is one third x tan to the four one third x times secant one third x tangent one third x dx. Now let us have a um, factor of tan to the four one third x that will be equal to secant raised to negative one one third x tan squared one third x one three squared Secant one third x tan one third x dx. Let us change now. We have secant raised to negative one one third x tan squared one third x is equal to our Pythagorean tan squared theta plus one is equal to secant squared theta. Therefore, tan squared theta is equal to secant squared theta minus one. Substitute. We have secant squared, one third x minus one, one three squared. Secant one third x, tan one third x, dx. Let u be equal to secant one third x. The u will be equal to one third, secant one third x, tangent one third x, dx. Divide both sides of the equation by one third. The result is 3du equals secant one third x tangent one third x dx. Continue the process. Uh, let us now substitute the given value in new form. Secant one third x is our u raised to negative one times secant squared one third x is our u squared minus one one three squared. And this will be equal to 3D. Now, let us have, find the perfect square trinomial of this. We have the integral of u raised to negative 1, u to the 4, minus 2u squared, plus 1, times 3DU. Distribute u raised to negative 1. We have u raised to negative 1 times u is u cubed. u raised to negative 1 times negative 2u squared is negative. Plus 
over 2 plus um, 3. The integral of u raised to negative 1 is this is equal to du over u. Therefore, we have the integral of du over u. We have 3 fourths u to the 4 minus 6 divided by 2 is 3 u squared plus 3. The integral of du over u is ln absolute value of u plus Substitute now the value of u, which is secant one third x. The final result will be 3 fourths secant one third x to the fourth minus 3 secant squared one third x plus 3 ln absolute value of secant one third x plus c. This will be the final result for the integral of tan to the fifth one third x dx. Let us have now our example number two, which is the integral of tan to the fourth y dy, even greater than two. Therefore, um, we have here actually m is even and at the same time tangent. What we need to do is find the identity for tan squared theta. It will become the integral of tan squared y quantity squared dy it will become equal to tan squared y is equal to secant squared y minus 1 secant squared y minus 1 squared dy then your result will be secant to the fourth y minus 2 secant squared y plus 1 dy then let us integrate this separate phase we have secant to the fourth y dy minus the integral of 2 secant squared y dy plus the integral of dy. As you can see, these forms, we can integrate this already. Therefore, we have the integral of secant to the fourth y dy minus 2 secant, um, 2 integral of secant squared y dy is tan y plus the integral of dy is y plus c. Okay, let us have this one. The integral of secant to the fourth y dy. This is same as secant squared y quantity squared dy. Then we have um, secant squared as actually um, in order for us to, to see the derivative of our secant squared y, we should separate this third, secant squared y dy. And secant squared y is equal to tan squared y plus 1. Okay. If you are going to write this in tan squared y plus 1 dy, if we, have, if we will have our value of u, Definitely, it will be impossible for us to find the derivative of u. Therefore, if our u is equal to tan y, the derivative of u is equal to secant squared y dy. Do we have secant squared y dy? Here. Now, therefore, instead of writing or changing the other secant squared y, retain it. We have secant squared y dy. In order for us to have u4, the integral of u squared plus 1, secant squared y dy is our du. Then we have the integral of u squared du plus du. And the integral of this is u cube over 3 plus u plus c. And substitute the value of u which is tan, we have 1 third tan u y plus tan y plus c and change this into this we have one third tan u y plus tan y minus two tan y plus y plus c combining like terms the final result is one third tan three y plus tan y minus 2 tan y is negative tan y plus y plus c. This will be the final result for our example number 2. For our last group, these are the trigonometric forms. The integral of cotangent m cosecant m u du, cotangent raised to m u du, and cosecant raised to m u du, wherein m and n are both positive in um, the case, the case should be parallel to group 2, case 
how to solve group 1 and group 2, it will be easy for you to solve group number 3. Please be reminded that you should know how to change variable, how to locate the differential, how are the derivatives, how to find the integral. As much as possible, play with the given. Okay? So, our given is the integral of cotangent cube C B Z all over square root of cos secant Z. That will be equal to our cos secant C cotangent C. A while ago, we have to um, factor secant u tangent u. Here, we have to factor cosecant u cotangent u. Then cosecant c times cosecant raised to negative 3 halves is equal to, um, that will be equal to negative 1 half. And cotangent c times, I think it should be cotangent squared. This one. Okay? Cotangent squared times cotangent c is equal to cotangent q. Now, we have to change cotangent c squared in our Pythagorean. We have 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cos secant squared theta. Therefore, cotangent squared theta is equal to cos secant squared theta minus 1. Okay? Therefore, we have the value of u is cos secant c. The derivative of u is negative cos secant c cotangent c dz. And what we need is cos secant c cotangent c dz. Therefore, negative g is equal to cos secant c cotangent c dz. Substitute the value of u we have. u raised to negative 3 half times u squared minus 1 times negative du. And you have the integral of u raised to negative 3 halves. Um, minus u raised to positive 1 half. Because u raised to negative 3 halves times 1, um, we have u raised to negative 3 halves. Ah, we multiply this to negative by negative. That's why this is the final result. Now, we have, find the integral, negative 2u raised to negative 1 half plus 2 third u raised to 3 halves. I'm um, just add by 1 to the exponent plus c, the final result will be negative 2, u raised to negative 1 half, same as square root of u, minus 2 third u raised to 3 halves plus c. Substitute the value of u, we have negative 2 over square root of cos secant c, minus 2 third cos secant 3 halves plus c. This is the final result. Again, like what I have said a while ago, just try to solve different problems involving solvable groups. And just follow the procedure. Here, always um, factor cos secant c, cotangent c. Parallel to group 2, cases numbers 1, 2. So that ends for our today's discussion. After this video, there will be set words that you need to try. And don't forget to subscribe. God bless and thank you.